All right, guys, welcome back to part two of my Easter special, and uh, in which uh, me and my dad are taking on a game of Jeopardy for the Nintendo Wii. And uh, so far, we've been doing very, very well. We're kind of dominating the opponents, and we're in the Jeopardy round, and we're about to pick the A's for 1,200, so let's go ahead and get back to it. To suspend a legal proceeding. Yes, player one. Um, Arrest. Adjourn. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's correct. Thirteen thousand dollars. You again, player 16. one. From the Greek for slope, it's to adjust to a new set of conditions. Player one. Um. A tone. Acclimate. Okay. Yeah. Good. Fourteen thousand six hundred. We return to you, player one. Two. And I'll hand it off to Kelly. It's Kelly. In seismic data. The maximum displacement of a seismic wave during one oscillation, here, 23 millimeters, is referred to by this term. It's layer one? Yeah, it's, um... Amplitude? Yeah. Correct. All right. Select again. I think it's we should go with, a. Uh, yeah, plan. Did you plan it that way for 400? Orbiting at about 67 million miles, it's the second planet from the sun. What is Mercury? Let's hear it, player one. Oh, oh you know, Venus, Venus, Venus. Yeah. Are they asking, like, okay. Right you are. My bad, that's the first place. You get to pick again, player Ganymede. one. Its moon, Ganymede, is the largest in the solar system. Is Jupiter? I would say that's probably... Okay. Player two. She says Ju... Oh. You got it. Look at that. Player two, back to you 12. for our next selection. The least dense planet in the solar system. It would actually float if you could find a big enough tub to put it in. Earth? Okay, player two. You are correct. Oh boy. Player two, you pick again, please. She got the first daily double. Answer. The first of the daily double. You're in second right now. What will it be? Okay, here is the clue. In 2005, NASA experimented with a low-pressure greenhouse to grow plants on this carbon dioxide-rich planet. It's Earth. No, oh, it's Mars. That's it. It is? That was Earth. Please pick again. Player two. And they were in high school for He ran track at Skyline High in Oakland. Good practice for the role of Forrest Gump. Who is Tom Hanks? It's player one. <laughs> right. Mama says life is a box like a player box one. of chocolates. Pick again. You never know how much. Um, get. let's finish out planet. Yeah. In 1781, it became the first planet discovered in modern times. Earth? Yes, player okay. one. I'm going to say um, Pluto. Are you taking a guess? Oh, oh, oh gosh. Anyone else? My bad. My dad tends to do that. I apologize. It's player two. Error. Oh. No. Oh. Tyrannus. And now... Anyone else care to try to come up with Schmuck is going to get it. Numbskull. Okay, Schmuck. player three. Yeah, good. Choose again. Player three. 800. As a teen in British Columbia, she said her goal was to be a California beach bum. She got her wish on Baywatch. Pam Anderson. Yes, player one. Good. All right. Player one. You pick again. To make extra money, she sometimes cleaned out the tour bus for her mom, Naomi, and sister, Wynonna. Let's hear it, player one. Is it Ashley? Yep. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah! Choose again, player one. As a high school basketball star in Irvington, New Jersey, this royal rapper led her team to two state um, championships. Um. Is it Queen Latifah? She's not a rapper. Yes, she is. Player three? No, she's not. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I remember Queen Latifah being a 
Fred. Larry yeah, Breach, sure. back to you for our um. next selection. He played quarterback for the Terrell High School Tigers before he won an Oscar for playing Ray Charles. Let's hear it, player one. It's Jamie Foxx. That is correct. All right. Player one, back to you. Uh, famous Canadians for four. In 1917 and 1918, Ontario's Billy Bishop claimed 72 aerial victories as an ace in this war. So? Um, Player two. For war one. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Select again. Toronto-born journalist Morley Safer began co-hosting this TV news magazine way back in 1970. Okay, layer one. Yeah. Hey, you're right. Okay. You get to pick again, layer one. Here's Kelly to start us off. This Mariner's 16th century explorations of the Gulf of St. Lawrence laid the basis for French claims to Canada. Francisco Bizarre. Here's what we wanted. Jacques Cartier. Oh, crap. Please pick again, player one. Co-discoverer of this pancreatic hormone, Ontario's Frederick Banting won a 1923 Nobel Prize. No. Oh. Insulin. Player one. Nice. Yes. $21,800. Layer one. This Nova Scotia man founded a famous line of ships in 1838. Yes, player two. Oh. Uh, Anyone else? chance. Let's hear it, player one. Canard. Right. Right. All right, so you now either Shakespeare or I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Gerald Ford issued 382 pardons, but the one issued to this man in 1974 Nixon. is said to have cost Ford the 1976 election. Who is Richard Nixon? Yes, player one. Whoa. That's right, way to go. We return to you, Player One. In 1994, he was pardoned for leading a coup versus the president of Venezuela. By 1999, he was the president. George H. W. Bush? It's no. Player One. It's Chavez. Oh, wait, my bad. Yeah. Yep. 25 grand. Select again. 1,200. In 2001, she was pardoned for a 1974 armed bank robbery and for using a firearm during a felony. Patricia Hurst. Okay, layer one. Penny Hurst. Wow. Yeah. Sixteen hundred. We return to you. The Wall Street Journal wanted an immediate pardon for him after his perjury conviction in the Valerie Plame case. Oh, I could probably guess. Do you want to guess? Layer one. Scooter Libby. Oh. Wow. Choose again. This Secretary of Defense was pardoned for his role in Iran Contra. Let's hear it, player one. It's um Did Alexander you? Haig. Oh. Nope. Oh. Cap Weinberger. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Shoot. We just lost two grand. It's Casper. 20, the 20 plus C note. We're talking about Casper Weinberger. Oh, man. Please pick again. Oh, gosh, this is going to be a pain. There's something in his soul or which his melancholy sits on brood is said of this title character. Romeo? No, I think it's... Hamlet? Could be. Oh. It's player oh, one. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Hey, you're right. <laughs> Got it. Layer one, back. Eight hundred. Friar John gets quarantined, so he never delivers that really important letter that this friar wrote to Romeo. Julius. Julius. 
Okay, player two. Can Katie get out of the hole? Sorry, that's wrong. Nope. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Go ahead. Yes, player one. So it's not Brian Brian. Lawrence. Right. Twenty-seven thousand dollars. You get to pick it. She's in Troy when she tells Pandarus, "Go hang yourself, you naughty, mocking uncle." Um. I don't know. Here's the response we were looking for. Cressida. Layer one. This man boasts, he that knows better how to tame a shrew, now let him speak. Here's the correct response. Petruchio. Mm. All right, last clue. And the $2,000 clue. And we got the daily double. Answer. Boy. The second daily double. Let's just go and down. you have the lead. Please select your wager, player one. Answer. The appropriately named Servilius is a servant to this title guy of Athens. Titus Andronicus. Mm -hmm. Even so, what? you are still in the Here's the correct response. Timon. Timon. Yep. Mm. All right. Final Jeopardy. Only Katie will not be going to Final Jeopardy, so all we have to wait for you about Sorry, is uh, Samuel. Two. We definitely got this uh, game in the bag. Time to get ready for Final Jeopardy. We're at 20, $26,000. Authors. Authors. Let's go $4,000. So if we win, if we get it right, we go 30, 30 grand. Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction. All right, let's do this. Let's take a look at that final Jeopardy clue right now. In 1949, he wrote, If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. Is it Orwell? Asimov was a science fiction. Well, we don't, we're almost out of time. Go ahead and go with Orwell. I think it's Orwell. I don't know. Really? Where do you put it your response? He's at Orwell. And that's He's right. right. <laughs> so he wagers 250. And I said Orwell. Did you come up with the correct response? Yes, I did. With that correct response, <laughs> you will gain. So for this first segment of my Easter special, I won $30,000 on Jeopardy for the Wii. Player one, you're the winner. So uh, thank you guys for watching uh, part two of my we'll Easter special. And I'll see you guys uh, in the next segment. See you guys later.